Hey guys, it's your boy Matt Eleven Gaming here, and welcome back to another video today. I have my team of the year prediction. I've been waiting so long to make this because it's taken loads and loads of effort uh, to make this whole video, basically. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, starting in goal, something that will probably surprise most people. I've gone with Gianluigi Buffon over Noya. Uh, to be honest, I think how things work at the UEFA and uh, all the, this world today. Noya is gonna win it, like 100% Noya is gonna win it, but in my opinion, Buffon should win it. He's been amazing for the last 17 years, since, since he started his career at 17 years old. And uh, basically, I think he's never got enough credit for that. He's been probably the best goalkeeper ever, one of the best goalkeepers we've had around for years and years consistently. And I think this year that Juventus got to the Champions League final, won a lot, it's finally the year that he should get the Team of the Year card, in my opinion. Moving on to the defence, it was a quite an easy choice to be honest, I went with Gerard Piquet and I given him a 93 rated card, don't look at the stats too much because you know those can vary uh, quite a bit to be honest. The team of the year is based on performance of the player and also of the club throughout the whole year. So Barcelona winning the treble and uh, winning the Champions League plays a very very important part in that. And I think this year especially, uh, like with Buffon, he's finally gotten to that high best level he's ever been. Next we have Jerome Boateng, once again he's an awesome awesome defender, he's been uh, performing really really well this year once again helping Bayern, he just missed out last year in his team of the year card and I think this year he should get one, it was really hard to decide because there were loads of other defenders uh, like for example Sergio Ramos which I haven't put in, like I've last year EA put in three centre backs and one left back uh, or right back it was actually who was Philip Plum with three centre backs but I think that may happen with Sergio Ramos as well but that's not what I've chosen but yeah I think Boateng one of the best defenders around if not the best defender around in world football at the moment that would be a sick card for him especially because he's quick in his normal card so he'd get a really really good pace uh, upgrade and that would be an awesome awesome card in the right back position spot I've gone with Danny Alves once again he's won everything with Barcelona this year the Brazilian pushes up and down the right wing the whole game he's good at attacking good at defending he's got it all and I think he deserves a spot in the team of the year 11. In the left back position to complete the defense without shadow of a doubt it has to be Alaba. Alaba I don't know in God's name how we did not get one last year, I know it's basically the players who vote, like real life players vote for these, so it's gonna be interesting. Last year David Luiz got a 99 team of the year card which surprised everyone and Alaba got left out and I believe he is the best life back we have, he's only like 23 years old I believe and he's just performing amazing, he plays at top club levels, he's good at shooting, he's good at defending, he's got great pace, so how can he not be in this year's team of the year? Moving on to the midfield guys, we go with Ivan Rakitic, I've gone with a 4-4-3 formation if you haven't understood, and uh, it's what EA has always done, well not EA, but the UEFA has always done, uh, there's obviously going to be three strikers, and uh, I think that's gonna, what they're going to do this year, it's the most complete formation I, I think for uh, a team like this, and uh, yeah, even Rakitic I've given a 91 rated card, that would be a sick card, he's got great shooting, great passing, and uh, in the centre midfield spot, wonders. Played a great part in Barcelona's season, he also scored the first goal to put uh, them 1-0 up in the Champions League final, and uh, Although I think he might be a bit left out, he doesn't get enough credit for the hard work it do he does. And that often happens with some midfielders, I don't know why. I still believe he will get a team of the year card and that would be very, very neat. The second midfielder for the squad is going to be Paul Pogba. And now, this was a really, really hard decision because I already had one key player which is going to be the next one I'm going to show which I for sure had to put into the team and then I had to decide I had loads of options like Pogba, James Rodriguez, Kevin De Bruyne it was not easy but in the end I did go with Pogba once again because he had an outstanding season last year he didn't start as well in this uh, season but last year once again get into the Champions League final winning the Scudetto winning the Coppa Italia in Serie A with Juventus he basically helped the team a lot and I think the 23 year old would have a great 92 rated card with 86 pace, 94 dribbling, 93 shooting, oh my god, it would be so 
so sick. I think the most complete midfielder we've ever seen, basically. The third midfielder is going to be Andres Iniesta. I think you knew they were, this was coming. He's had a cracking season. Once again, he's, I, I don't know, with aging, he's like 33 or something. And he's still got amazing skills. He, he look, plays those amazing passes, great dribbling. He also got a Team of the Year card last year, which was still 95 rated. And uh, I think he will repeat himself this year as well. I don't think there's anyone else who, who would take his spot. Moving on to the front three, once again, this was a really hard decision. I mean, people were doubting Ronaldo was not going to be in the team of the year. And I don't, I don't know how that can be possible, to be honest. At least not for this year. But yeah, I've gone with Neymar left wing, a 97 rated. The Brazilian with Messi and Suarez this year are playing wonderful. One of the best, if not the best football I've ever seen. He showed amazing skills, great finishing, loads of personality. He scored in the Champions League final as well. And in the new season, he's been amazing, especially when Messi was injured. He took Barcelona by hand and dragged them through different wins, Once, one of which was a Clasico against Real Madrid. Once again, in this position, I could have put players like Suarez, Lewandowski, but I think Neymar, with what he's shown this year at his age, I think he's going to get it. It would be such a sick card with 5-star skills, 5-star weak for and those stats it would be a dream to play with. Next up we have the one and only Cristiano Ronaldo which I've given a 98 rated card downgraded from his amazing card he had last year for team of the year which was 99 and how can you not put Cristiano Ronaldo maybe he's gone a bit on the downfall this year but he's still got amazing numbers amazing techers and he's helped Real Madrid through loads and loads of games as he's always done. The Portuguese goal machine will surely be in team of the year in my opinion. And to top it off guys the one and only Lionel Messi he's been nominated for the last 10 years for the Ballon d'Or contender that's just just amazing he's played outstandingly this year and he's probably the best player we've ever seen on this planet I think he'll get a 99 rated card as he did I think back in FIFA 12 after suffering a couple of injuries last season I think he's gone back this year and showed who he is with some amazing runs and goals and I also do believe he's gonna win his fifth Ballon d'Or anyways guys that's gonna be the end of the video I'm really really hyped I can't wait for the team of the year to come out I want to see how close I've gone and I'm pumped to see it on FIFA as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of my prediction and let me know your prediction as well. I'll be really interested to know that. We can discuss it in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe for more. This video took ages in Photoshop, designing all these cards, getting all the numbers right and all the images. So a like would be much appreciated guys. I hope you enjoy. It's been your boy Matt Gaming and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Bye! Stop.